Hey guys, me like big boom here showing you guys how to complete the soul crystal easter egg and get the accompanying achievement as well. The update earlier this morning showed us that this new puzzle was added and my live stream immediately afterwards got us to solve the thing quite quickly. In this video I'll be bringing you through the process step by step, so stay tuned. To start, people have begun noticing these interesting symbols scattered around the map recently. There are two of them, one of which is down in the metro tunnels beneath St. Petersburg, and the other in these Stonehenge things on the mountain between St. Petersburg and Kiryev. The one down in the tunnels doesn't have anything special about it, but the one in the Stonehenge has a note next to it. By the way, once you get here from an overhead view, the symbol is in this rock formation here. Now interact with the note and it will read this. Written by Kilroy, he talks about these interesting symbols, a recording of an ancient tribe's history, and the lines representing things like nighttime, whispers, a harvest, and soul crystals. The harvest and soul crystal aspect of this note will be used in the near future, you'll see how in a minute, uh, but Kilroy talks about how this soul crystal can be activated by some sort of ritual. But people who previously visited the soul crystal had a terrible accident and forced themselves to shatter the soul crystal themselves and hide the pieces. One of which, Kilwar says, is encased in stone and guarded by a spirit named Anastasia. Now all of this is extremely useful information and has a very interesting backstory. The next step of the easter egg is what requires you to gear up, so before you head down into the metro tunnels, make sure you have a gun with enough ammo to kill approximately 20 zombies, a portable light source so you can see, a flashlight, attack light, or headlamp will do just fine, and a horde beacon. The horde beacons are crafted from the stuff on the screen right now. Now once you get all that gear, head down the subway entrance in the St. Petersburg tunnels. Its location is right here. Now go down until you reach the military tents, fall down onto the tracks and follow the tunnel around the corner to the right and to the end where the tunnel collapsed. Feel free to kill any zombies you see, but remember to have enough ammo left over to kill 20 or so zombies, remember that. Now at the end of the tunnel, you'll see that same symbol again. This time you'll notice that it's inside of a giant hunk of stone. Remember the note when it said encased in stone and protected by a spirit named Anastasia? Well here, we're going to use those clues to open up this stone and get inside. Now unfortunately, this step requires you to be on a server, since single player doesn't allow you to type in the area chat, though this likely will be fixed soon, so don't worry, I'll put an annotation on the screen when it is fixed. But a LAN server still works fine, so you can make that on your own time on your own computer and do it yourself. Anyway, once you're on a server, press K to open up the area chat window and type Anastasia to be granted access by the spirit. Head inside and this is when you will take advantage of the horde beacon. This red glowing hunk of rock is a crystal, a soul crystal, and in order to get it to work, remember, we'll have to perform a ritual. To do this, it needs to collect the souls of zombies. To do this, place down a horde beacon and kill some zombies inside of the room. It's important that you kill them inside the room so that their souls can be collected, and if you sit at the entrance and shoot down the tunnel, you'll just be wasting ammo. You will know if it's working if red dust poofs up when a zombie is killed. Things will get overwhelming very fast, so be ready to expect hundreds of zombies to turn that corner. But once you collect around 20 zombie souls, welcome to another dimension. Well, I'm not sure if it's another dimension, but Stranger Things really makes me want to think so. But this lab, take a good look at it, because this is the place where the infection seemingly began. And this is where testing was done in the zombies. The blood smears all over the place also lead me to believe that this is where that terrible accident occurred and was the reason why all the soul crystals were hidden away. It was done to protect people, and you went ahead and messed it all up, so good job, you. The note on the counter in the middle of the room talks about experimental vaccines and the zombies taking on strange qualities like flammability, acid glands, etc. Which is of course in reference to these special zombies. Be sure to check that one out. 
Head down the stairs and take a left. You'll see the other fragment of the soul crystal, but don't go up to it yet. There's a note on the counter to the left. That note isn't specific on what it's talking about, but it's seemingly referring to the soul crystal, how it's seemingly impossible to destroy, and how this soul crystal is the reason why extraterrestrial beings came to the planet. Perhaps this soul crystal was a meteor, and perhaps the extraterrestrial's visit is what brought new diseases and bacteria to the ecosystem, causing this apocalypse. Now, their use of experimental vaccines, as done in this facility and also referred to in the previous note that we just looked at upstairs, uh, only made it worse, and those vaccines caused acid and flamer zombies. Now from here, this is about all there is to see in regards to this easter egg. You can walk up to the soul crystal being held by the robotic arms and get your achievement. After a second or so, you'll be teleported back to our dimension and you are free to go about your day. That's the Soul Crystal achievement and Easter egg. I think its purpose was to primarily inform us of some really cool backstory behind Unturned, and the Soul Crystal achievement is just a nice souvenir to go alongside it. I'd like to give a massive thank you to all the viewers of my Twitch stream earlier today. I definitely could not have figured it out without your help, and also a massive thank you to you guys for watching. That's all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that shibberish because you like big gold is out.